Sir, what a day, what a day. What's happening? What's happening? What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Mike Rich, man. What's happening with y'all today? Hope everybody, each and every last one of y'all is having a blessed day today, man. Today, as always, I've been needing space. You know what I'm saying? I'm not buying no more of these clear containers. I'm not buying no more of them. You know what I'm saying? Um, I got to switch them out. I got to sell some and buy some at the same time, bro. And it's a couple that I had on my mind to sell. Before we get into the actual vlog of the video, I'll show y'all a couple of little sneakers I had in mind to sell. But when we get into the vlog, it's going to be something different today. I'm thinking of doing a little, I don't really call it thrifting. I'm thinking of doing a little, um, what you call the store? Like Burlington and Ross, TJ Maxx, stuff like that. Uh, what do you, you call those secondhand? They're not really secondhand stores. Um, if I go to Plato's Closet, no, that's a secondhand store. If I go to Goodwill or something like that, that's a secondhand store. But I'm going to these little sidebar joints that usually, you usually be able to catch some gems in them things, but not as of late. That's why I don't do as many vlogs in them spots no more, but we gonna hit them up today and see what's going on, Rich Nation, because y'all know I'm gonna make something out of nothing, and I'm gonna make nothing out of something, and something out of nothing. And yeah, both both ways, you know what I'm saying? Anyway, let me show y'all the couple of things I had in mind to get rid of that dude. Uh, like I said, man, I got a love-hate thing going for dunks, bro. Love-hate thing going for dunks. These right here is the ATL dunks, man. I like the shoe, but it's still a dunk, so I don't, you know, I'm not really super crazy about it. I like it. Literally, the only reason I bought the shoe because it got ATL on it. I'm not mad at the colors. I think they should have probably, mm, I think they could have did something different with the colors, but I ain't mad at these, man. I just don't want them, shorty. So, I pay like 120 for this shoe. Maybe I do... Ah, like 150 ship, 160 ship, something like that. Depending on where you at, somebody can get these things. If you in Atlanta, probably, it probably won't be that much shipping. Speaking of dunks, speaking of dunks, ah, don't fall, don't fall, don't fall. Yeah, speaking of dunks, I, I kind of like don't want to go back on these because somebody looked out for me or for these for retail. But, man, I mean, they clean, but I don't think I'm going to wear them, bro. I really like these, the Valentine's Day dunk right here. Uh, probably the same deal as the Atlanta joints. Let them go. Both of them side 12. Um, I let them, ugh, materials are so good on these. That's the one main reason I like them, but the materials is crazy. Valentine's Day guy, uh, like I said, 150 ship. Depending on where you at, man. Let me know. Side 12 DS pairs. The next one was a shoe I was talking about selling before. I didn't nobody buy it, man. But I let the ego for retail. The retail was like 130, 140 or something like that. Retail. I like the kid. I like the shoe. I like the um colorway. I like the um materials. Just a lot of these shoes I don't see myself wearing. Unless I just go on an all Air Max trip and just wear Air Max every day. <laughs> I got a lot of other shoes in my collection that I want to wear before some of the Air Max, man. Speaking of Air Max, some of y'all said y'all saw this coming. And the only reason I say y'all know y'all saw this coming, because you know I got these right here. And I like these better. It's just my humble opinion, man. You feel me? Air Max, big bubbles. DS size 12 and I will let them go for 200 plus shipping I think they going for like 240 in a size 12 on goat so 200 plus shipping I don't think that's a bad deal and last but not least I know y'all ain't gonna expect this I know they ain't gonna expect this I got some press those right oh yeah box box empty no that's them oh yeah that's, all right, that's something else uh I know y'all ain't gonna expect this man so as the by the box you can tell what these is this is actually the pair that I did the on feet video with so the shoe is I you would say tried on but I did walk around my driveway for a couple of minutes with the shoe on when I did on feet video ain't no creasing or nothing it's just I mean it's still a new shoe it's not brand new of course because I had it on my feet still got the tag attached um this is the bottoms like I said you can't even tell I did the on feet video with them like they can definitely pass the DS but y'all know I'm I'm honest man I'm, I'm letting you know what's happening with the shoe um, I'll probably let this one go for two fifty, some around there, two fifty ship, because I'm not gonna undercut them. Because like I said, I could literally sell these as DS. I'm not gonna do that, but I could if I wanted to. But two fifty, take it or leave it. If not, like I said, I got two pairs, double up action. So uh, hit me up, man. You feel me, bro? I don't advocate animal violence, bro. 
But this right here is ridiculous. Man, this the second time. I believe it's the same bird, bro. This is the second time this something that happened, and it's the same spot. The same exact spot on my, my window, bro. Hey, don't let me see him, shot him. Pellet guns fly. Bow, bow. He talking about. You know what I'm saying? And I ain't gonna get his in mind right. Anyway, that's that bird. Anyway, the Air Jordan 6 Toro Bravo. I don't even want to show it in the background. Anyway, as I was saying, the Air Jordan 4 Toro Bravo drops tomorrow. Their release date is all over the place. They move the release date up tremendously. Y'all hear me? They, they move the release date up. And the shoe was dropping earlier. But I, I reviewed that shoe so long ago. I reviewed that shoe like five months ago, bro. So it's like I was super hyped for the shoe then. I'm still hyped for the shoe now, but and I'm a cop it. I was able to hit on uh, JD Sports. Um, so I'm gonna go pick it up tomorrow, do a pickup vlog of the Air Jordan 6 Toro. The materials is fine, the shoe is fine, but I'm gonna ask the question today, just like tomorrow, I'm gonna ask the same question. Should they have released this shoe like 10 years ago? It seemed like it would have been a more popular shoe 10 years ago. Now me, myself, I don't really give a damn about the popularity of the shoe. I don't care if everybody like it or if everybody hate it. I like it. It's a deep varsity red suede Air Jordan 6. I love Jordan 6s. I love uh, suede, y'all know that. And I love um, that Toro varsity red color, man, it's fire. So um, I'm getting them, but I think as far as like the, the masses really being into that car, I mean that shoe like that, I feel like they probably should have dropped it some, some years ago. Um, I think, I, it, I, one thing I regret, very bad, I regret I sold, I like had like three pairs of uh, Raging Bull Jordan 5 and I sold them. And I like 6s better than Jordan 5s, so I'm, I'm going to get this 6 and I'm pretty sure I'm going to keep it. Y'all know me, I'm Mike Rich, I get rid of shoes, but... So it ain't no guarantee, but I like the shoe, man, and I think I'm, a, I think I'm, a, I think I'm gonna enjoy this shoe. Um, I wish I didn't sell Raging Bull Fives because now they're going for like four hundred dollars in my size resale, and I had like five pairs that I got for retail. So there's no way I'm going to back and you know, I'm getting that shoe now. I guess I just won't have it. But if I do want that look, uh, all red, deep suede, deep red suede Jordan. I throw them sixes on, man. I think I'll still be clean with them. Anyway, let me finish vacuuming this car out and let's get to our vlog, shall we? Do it. All right, Rich Nation. I have a confession to make. Number one, my car is semi-clean now. So there's that. But I got a confession to make. I have never in my life stepped foot in a city trends, ever. First time for everything. So let's go, man. You know what I'm saying? Get my first real reaction to city trends. Do they have shoes in city trends? I always just see people like, it remind me of this uh, store called Kessler's that went out of town, um, went out of town. They went out of business a few years ago. So I know Kessler's used to have some legit stuff in it. They ain't had no fake stuff like the flea market, but I don't know, is it second hand or is it just a B grade store? Let's find out. My first time at City Trends, do it. I just know the commercial. C-I-T-I, -I, City Trends. It's fashion for less. And that's what they say, fashion for less. Shout out to Rick and Morty. I'm liking it already. I miss with Rick and Morty. Damn good show. See, we already turning into Burlington with the echo. We always, I'm, I'm hearing the echo in here. The echo is saying trash. Can water. Got a Gucci shirt. Gucci. Yeah, you talking about? So what do we draw the line, like wearing stuff like this? I, I, I respect the movie. I never seen this scene when they were standing there smiling like that in the movie, but where do we draw the line with the Boys in the Hood shirt? Let me know. Now, wait a minute. I kind of like this shirt. It's not my size, but I kind of like it. Um, Where's the swoosh on the ones, though? Where the swoosh at? Okay. I guess they can't have no branding. So, yeah, because there's no jump man on the side of the sevens. So whoever made this shirt, you know, they're not allowed to have a branding, but it's obvious what the shoes is. I mean, no jump mans, no 23s and stuff like that. Kind of like it says retro kicks. I mess with it. OGs, but them ain't no OGs right now. That's not an OG colorway. It's not. Something different about this one too. This ain't this ain't quite the vibes. I think is they reverse the colors. This supposed to be black and that's but yeah, yeah, they they know what they doing. Or they don't know what they doing. It's one of them. Anyway, I guess it's a eight. Bro, 
I know people be kind of like trying to drip this when they go on like trips to Miami and stuff like that. But if you see me walking around with these shorts on, I might need a chin check. I don't know. So I don't think there's no shoes in here. Like a whole bunch of sports apparel and those are cheaply made t-shirts with all the little gangster-isms on them. That's Savage. has a 23 on it. Got a bear. I also got some J's on, but they don't look quite legit. So uh, there's that. This is the clearance section, and um, I see why. I <laughs> what is that? Oh, I thought it was some guns, like to the side or something. It say something. Okay, I'm tripping. <laughs> so you know, it's not too uh, surprising that that's the clearance section. Clearance. Yeah, we ain't messing with it. I apologize to anybody who make these brands, and you see me clowning. Hey, man, I just don't know what it is, but it's not. You know, the stuff I'm seeing just really ain't that appealing to me. Sorry, fellas. Like, I really know how hard it is to put merch up and try to make a clothing brand, so I get it. Uh, Chef, okay. Some South Park action. Like, I'm not really seeing, I'm really getting like, it's academics pants, what? I'm really getting like uh, Burlington vibes, for real. I'm finna go see if they got shoes, though. That's, that's what we here for. What that say? Red? Let's go see. That's what I'm here for, bro. That's what I'm here for. These hats are trash. Um, all right, here we go. Here we go. Some more of the um, bubble slides. Golf ball looking guy. And Feli tried it with these. Whatever them is. Or the Peter Slide guy. They had a little finger pain fun with these. Oh, okay then. So they got the biggest Patrick Ewing boots that I've ever seen in my life. These are stumpers. They actually not that bad though. They not that bad. Got the waterproof. Yeah, this is like a winterized or like a, I don't know what you call it, but it's definitely got boot action. Then they get a little basketball. I don't know if y'all really follow Patrick Ewing, but he always, his shoes always to come with a little basketball and the cards, man. So kind of some uh, early nineties vibes going with the E. But no mistake, this is a winter boot, boy. Look at this, boy. The junk got light. Carhartt denim on the front of them. <laughs> the Ewing logo. You know what I'm I actually would wear these to work, bro. I might get a pair. Right, that's a 14. That's too big. I need a 12. So they don't have my size, which is cool because that probably would have been a bad decision. They retailing for, well, they going for $39 in here. So I'm sure the retail is like 100 bucks or 80 bucks or something like that. Got some classic Feli vibes. They're not quite the classic because they throw those little small little Feli's on there. That one on the OGs. So, you know, they kind of classic. They semi-classic, I guess. You got some harachis in there, though. Right? Got some harachis, the size 11. Wonder how much they want. Let's see the price. So they trying it, man. $69.99. Uh-uh. This shoe should, and they say compare 150. Harachis are not $150, bro. Harachis is like $120 or something like that. They tripping. This shoe should be no more than about $25, $30 in here. I want to know who wears stuff like this. It seems like people at the corner, they be standing in front of the corner store be having these shirts on, bro. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I'm getting from that. Not the Neezys. Not the Adidas Neezys. Uh-uh. What they doing? What is they doing? Who made these? I can't even see the logo. PW Shoes. What is this? Side 8. What they want for them? The Neezys. The hell Neezys, uh, $14.99, men shoot what they call them. It just says gray. <laughs> I better say something. <laughs> that was right on time. Look at this, but look at this. What is that? What they, what's the, I guess that's the element they had to add so it didn't look so Yeezy-ish, but this is like a couple of different Yeezys like put together. Y'all rocking? See, I don't even know what to say about these. I don't really know where they were going with them. Oh, cheap leather. I don't know where they were going with them. Man, another pair of hell Neezys. Got one down now. Not to be a jerk, but um, kind of don't think I'm missing nothing by never coming in. Uh, see, the vibes ain't in here. This ain't it. I think we should go. Yeah, man. So the infamous Ross dress for less. I think I just called City Chance Dress for Less. Is that, is that they logo too? Is everything just Dress for Less? I don't know. Uh, sometimes they be having some dope cologne in Ross, bro. That's what I noticed. But I ain't seen no shoes, no gems in here in a minute. 
I remember one time, bro, I, I had found some SB Dunks in here. And they was like a special edition shoe, and I didn't even know what they were. They were my side. I bought them, and I just like gave them away, bro. So let's see what's happening. So I think the best shoe in the last though might have been a Harachis. I would have worn them Ewans to work. I ain't gonna cap. You can definitely get you some luggage in there, guy. Um, but they still were taxing for the Harachis. $69? I've seen Harachis on sale in the mall for $69. They tripping. So I ain't really seeing nothing, Jack. What is it? He look designer. Are they gas? Uh-oh. So if you put these on, bro, that pass is designer, bro, because I done seen designer shoes look like this and a whole lot worse, so. Get you some, huh? I ain't finna do it with the Michael Jackson zippers, though. <laughs> hey, you talking about? But I don't even like designer. Well, I don't like designer because it be looking like stuff like that, bro. Y'all, I can't do it, man. It's a couple of designer things I'll probably met with, but <sighs> they be pushing it, bro. Just because they the designer, they be like, we can do anything and they gonna like it. But Adidas got the wood grain slide. Yeah, you talking about wood grain with the leather seats. Yeah, you talking about Bro, what is it, bro? What is it? They giving out extra laces. They call them a real. And they giving out extra laces for them. And they ain't playing. Throw the red wasn't enough. Spice it up. Yeah, you talking about Got some Kyrie's in that thing. These little alarm things making noise, bro. And they ain't doing nothing but touching the shoes, bro. Kyrie's. I don't see no price. What a price. 49. Y'all heard that? The little alarm's going on. $49 for Kyrie. I'm Gucci. Literally got some Chuck Taylors that says not Chuck. Oh, okay then. I have a bunch of Kyrie's in there, guy. But Kyrie, Kyrie this was standing rock. So it's a collab. Get your song. Here you come on. Boy, they got the uh, grandfather of all dad shoes in this guy. Some uh, Monarchs for $36. I ain't mad at them. I cut the grass with some Monarchs. It's nine to five, nine and a half. I can't do it. Yeah, man, but that's a, that's a take the trash out. You wanna run briskly through the neighborhood, walk briskly through the neighborhood, take the trash out. All that good stuff you can do. Cut the grass, um, you know, put clean the gutters out, you know, stuff like that. Get your patty Monarch guys, bro. Yeah, and another pair of Kyrie's, white blacks. These already look like Yeezy 2 to me. Kyrie shoes, a lot of his shoes look like Yeezy 2. Uh, I can't remember the name of this feli, but this, this is a stomper guy, but it came out back in the day. What name it is, man? It's like a retro shoe. What a name, whatever the name of them, they $29. And I think this is a size 12, this is a size 11. It's on the feli, man. Some more Kyrie's. Some uh, Skate Jordan 1 Low Bread Action DC. Get you some skateboard action. Do it. Kyrie's. Kyrie's. Tell you, man, we ain't finding no gems in here today. It's just gonna be apparently Kyrie. <laughs> Kyrie's. What is happening? Kyrie, they done sent all your shoes to Ross Dress for Less. It's like the Kyrie capital in here. Here you talk about. Hmm. But like they straight up swiped this colorway from Jordan Brand. What color, what shoe was that? My wife got that shoe. They got the red up here, the red Jordan one, and then they got the suede, gray suede through the rest of the shoe. Yeah, y'all swipe that top 10, Adidas. Last but not least, Burlington, AKA Burlington Coat Factory, that they don't call Coat Factory no more. Um, and after this, bro, like, I know y'all probably wanna see some shoes that you actually might like. So I might hit up like Hibbit Sports and somebody in this direction. But um, I know it's gonna smell like somebody grandma my house in here, so <laughs> let's see what's going on with Burlington. All right, they still got the grandmama smell. Old lady purse smell, let's see. Man, it's so dim in here. Yeah, it got a smell not as bad as it used to. Yeah, but it's too, it do still smell like they put all these clothes out of the closet, bro. But I mean, comparing to the, this to the mall, ain't really saying nothing because as far as clothing, the mall don't really be having that either. Like, best place to order your clothes is offline, online. <sighs> a lot of people just order everything online. Let me go through these plethora of shoes and see if I can find anything. All I keep seeing is stuff that look like other stuff. These look like React Prestos, but they're not. They US Polo Association. <laughs> Guys, I saw these back here. Bread ones, maybe? Nope. They are made by, well, leather ain't that bad though. Leather feels pretty good. What are, what are these, man? These are made by, just says addition. What the hell? It just says men athletic. 
Richardson. Well, I gotta have my name on there. Hell no. Okay. These ain't bad. Some Adidas hoops. You know what I'm saying? I thought they were top tens at first, but uh, not quite. That's a UNC slide down though. Them ain't bad. Them Nikes. UNC slides. Got water shoes in here, bro. You do not find water shoes like anywhere anymore, bro. Like when I be going on vacation, I be needing these. It's like certain excursions you can't do without having water shoes on, bro. And like, you have to really order them because you can't find them nowhere. Got a pair of Air Jordan Nothings too, by the way. I got some fires uh, Nike water shoes at the house. They don't even make them no more. Here goes some starter Georgetown uh, highs right here. Starter. Here you talking about. Remember when these were the wave? I don't think this is the exact one, but remember these chunky bottom felines was the wave? Like every little female out the hood rocking these guys. <laughs> yeah, I remember it too. Wasn't that long ago. Seems like they got a lot of these. Bread gang going crazy in there, guy. All I need is a swoosh, bro. That's all you need. The man on, on the grill ain't rocking these, bro. The man on the grill ain't rocking these. I'm good. That food ain't gonna be seasoned, bro. It ain't, it ain't gonna be tender, nothing. See, like I was saying, guests, guests know what it is. It just gonna make this shoe look like designer. But that's gonna start screaming when I took it off. What? Hell no. You can't even take them off the shelf? Oh, hell no. I ain't mad at these at all, bro. That alarm's still going off down there, too. This is like Nike Air, like Air Max slides, bro. These kind of dope. They had these in my size. I'd probably pick them up. $19.99, it's a six wide, it's like a kid's shoe. They probably don't make these in my side then. Like an Air Max slide, bro. I ain't mad at them. I ain't gonna cap though, like when I be out of town sometimes and I forget stuff at the house, places like they be perfect, socks and belts. I be good on socks, but I done bought so many belts. I got like 20 belts, bro, because every time I go out of town, I forget my belt. My wife know, she's annoyed by it. It's the stuff that I be wearing to the airport, I don't be needing no belt for. I always wear comfortable clothes to the airport, like sweats and stuff like that. Bro, they legit got some check your drawers in here, son. Get your song, good guy. <laughs> check your draw. John Morant shirt. Oh, okay then. What they come with? They come with some holsters. Gotta come with a holster. So y'all know I ain't gonna leave y'all like that, Rich Nation. We had the athlete's foot. Now, it was a line out here with like eight or nine people in here a minute ago. They just dropped the tickets for the Air Jordan 6 Toro Bravo guys, man. And um, my boy said it was like, it's plenty. He said my size and everything. But I did hit on JD Sports. So hopefully nobody don't get to my pair before I do at JD Sports. But he said they had about two or three 12 still on the list left in here. Only thing is, you gotta buy $30 worth of uh, merchandise to get it. Just like when I was lined up for the Thunders. But the Thunder line was like 30 people. People. <laughs> so, uh, needless to say, hype moves mysteriously because everybody wanted them thunders. It ain't seem like people going too crazy uh, for these Toro, um, for these Toro things, man. That same old stuff. They got the craft fives. A lot of y'all said y'all were digging these. I ain't mad at them too bad. I just wish they would put more of that of this color, whatever gray. I wish they would put more of that color on the shoe. I still like these. Like I said, this would be an outlet pickup. This would be an outlet pickup. Pay about 130 for each shoe. I'll be in there. Plethoras upon plethoras of Air Jordan Nathans in there, guy. Speaking of the ATL, they don't have a dunk sitting nowhere, but they still got the Air Force Ones. Uh, the ATL Air Force Ones sitting in a couple of spots. So just to let y'all know, they in here. But look at these double stack um, vapor mat, bro. They don't sell two for 199 Regular price 250 Double stack guy, boy. Seem like you sprain the hell out your ankle with these on. Uh, Damn, boy. Y'all ain't go to the side. They over with with them tall guys on. And the white on white LeBrons, man. They might as well just send all these to the outlets, bro. Because they already don't sell in here, man. LeBron, send all these, especially now that the season over, man. Send all these to the outlets, y'all. Got the Halloween stompers right there. What are you talking about? Got Jordan 1 Lowe's, 89. Got the sale midsole on them. Remember during the pandemic, bro, everybody was, these was even selling out. It didn't matter what kind of Jordan low drop. These were selling out during the pandemic, so you couldn't even get a pair. These guys went back. Toilet paper went on thing people going crazy for. Y'all keep letting the panda high seat. Y'all keep doing it. And so as of right now, they still got a couple of sizes left. You just got to spend $30. But that shit was already like, what, 200 or something like that. So that's 230 They going for, what, 250 on Goat Stock X. So... I don't think they're gonna get too many people to come in there and spend $30 for the shoe. Cause once the shoe hit the uh, shelves tomorrow, 
you ain't gonna have to buy nothing to get a ticket for the shoe, especially if they do hit the shelves. But he said about 10 or 12 people out there um, waiting for tickets. So, you know, people got tickets, bro. Um, I, I almost got me a second pair. I almost, let me get me a second pair. Man, I hit on one pair at JD Sports, and that's all I'm doing with it, shout I'm done after that. Anyway, so I think I'm gonna end the vlog right here. I was gonna go back there to, um, to Hibbit Sports, but I might do that uh, when I come pick the shoe up. I go to the mall, do a little mall vlog tomorrow. So I want to save that for the end. Tell me what y'all think about the, I guess, secondhand store vibes. I couldn't find nothing in there. I remember used to find gems in like, um, what's the name of that store? Um, Ross and Marshalls and TJ Maxx and all that stuff. Used to be able to find gems in there, shouty. Ain't find nothing ski in that guy. You feel me? Uh, so. I hope it wasn't a waste of time for y'all. Y'all comment below if y'all still like me to put videos up like this. Sometimes I go to Play-Doh's Closet and they have stuff that people try to sell or give away and stuff like that. But y'all let me know if that's boring. Let me know right now. I stopped doing it. I enjoy vlogging regardless of what store I'm in and stuff like that. So y'all want me to do it. I keep doing it, man. Comment below and let me know what y'all think of the secondhand store. It ain't secondhand store. What do you call it? What we? Let's give them a name. Let's give Ross, TJ Maxx, Burlington Co. Factory, places like that. Let's give those stores a name, man, because I don't know what to call them. What, what, department stores, I guess. I don't know. Anyway, I appreciate y'all for watching. Hit the thumbs up. Like this video. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. Comment below and tell me if you going after the Toro Bravo things tomorrow. I will be doing a pickup vlog. You feel me? Hit that notification bell so you can become a part of Rich Nation. Stand all the way up to the moon on them and keep watching my video because that's what I'm here for. Go Call up the plug, hit me a lick. Early kids from Retro Rick. New air bubble like helium lift. So as to bless, thank God for the gift. Yeah, it's a hit. Premium fit. No barbecue, but this is it. Hold up, rock, rock, just my hit. With richest kicks, I mean my rich. Yeah, ballin' all the way to the moon on them. Space Jam going on the tune on them. Sweeping y'all haters, get the broom on them. New heat coming real soon on them. My rich fans, shout that's what I cop to give for. Thank you for watching these vids, that's what I'm here for. Gone. All the way up to the moon on them. What's happening there, everybody? Yeah. Life so lighty daddy Bless. Hit that Nike store just like your girl hit Hobby Lobby. Then yeah. we fly to Abu Dhabi. Then